call it a bean, a seed, a nut. This treasure from the Chitropha plant has been found to yield more than 10 times the amount of oil as compared to corn. And best of all, it's not a food. Located in Desert Center, approximately 70 miles due east of Palm Springs, is a 320-acre proving ground. The purpose? To plant, propagate, and promote the promise of what some say is a miracle plant that may very well be a global petrol solution. The organization is appropriately named Farming Biodiesel Incorporated. Do you know what the acronym is? FBI Farms. To go out and call a green company FBI. First thing anyone thinks of, America's strength, stability, and enforcement. Hi, I'm Mike Reardon. Welcome to FBI Farms. Mike and the Chitropha farming operation he has founded is attracting attention worldwide, along with growing interest from the local media. These handfuls of beans could soon be the future of energy. They come from Chitropha plants. Once a machine presses the beans, the oil that comes out is collected in jars. It's called biodiesel fuel. It's clean and renewable. Farmer Mike Reardon works here with the dedication of a man with a goal to grow his operation into a major player in green energy. This is the next step to get us off of foreign oil and clean our air. Reardon even runs fish farms here in Desert Center, the water coming from the desert's giant underground aquifer. The farming operation has been blessed with an abundant, renewable, vital supply of water. The aquifer actually starts up in Wyoming from the glaciers and runs down through here, through 29 Palms, and continues. The aquifer is amazing. The water comes out at 91 degrees. This H2O source is used to fill both man-made and earth fish ponds, the tilapia and the wastewater, put to work as a main source of irrigation and nutrients for the growing farm crops. Mike and his dedicated crew strive to keep it clean and green. The freshwater fish hatchery provides income and a renewable revenue stream. It's all part of a bigger plan, integrating alternate energy, natural farming techniques, and a compassionate stewardship of the land. It all works together. You, we don't use any petrochemicals. We don't use any fertilizers, no pesticides. Farm investor, Adam Cancellari. I think the timing has got to be now for people like us to step up and do something different to show a new way to farm and grow biofuel. Recently, Farming Biodiesel Incorporated hosted the first of its kind Chitropha Conference and Expo. The seminars and workshops featured presentations from soil and farm science experts, South American farming organizations, a demonstration of processing and storage options, plus impressive new technology, such as this automated harvesting equipment. Keynote speaker Richard Palmer, president and CEO of Global Clean Energy Holdings, shared his real-world expertise and wealth of knowledge. We're a biofuels feedstock company, and we own three biofuels farms, energy farms, in Latin America, two of which are in Mexico, and one of which is in Belize. And our goal is really to develop very cost-effective feedstocks that are non-food based for the biofuels industry. This is uh, Jutrof oil. Um, it's essentially cold pressed and what we'll call twice filtered. We, we press the oil out of the seed and then we take the impurities out of it. This is a very new plant and there's a lot of hype around this plant in the marketplace. The idea of just dropping seeds in the ground and it will produce all of this oil is just a misnomer. The challenge is that you have to apply very modern agricultural techniques to this plant. And if done so, then you'll get very good yields. We farm about 95 million acres of corn every year. They clear the land, they plant the land, they harvest the land, and then they do it again the next year. If you take a look at Jatropha, you know, Jatropha is a perennial, it means that you plant it once, and that perennial will be there for 30, 40, 50 years. The difference is the Jatropha does not affect food price. When you take a fuel and you add in a commodity that should be consumed as food, now you have two different conflicts. The thing about green energy, right now the field is wide open. Anyone can get involved. Anyone that has an idea. One farm, 20,000 hectares, 50,000 acres, will produce 15 million gallons. Governmental agencies, federal agencies, you know, everybody that has a diesel appetite will take any, everything that we can produce. The social aspects can't be understated. You can have skilled labor jobs, equipment operators, construction, process engineers. I mean, there's a lot of work that actually is generated. I mean, out of our one farm in Mexico, we're employing over 150 people. The processes and structures that we have in place are not working. But yet, we want to say as Americans that we are the best, brightest, strongest country in the world. 
But we need to do the work. We need to get up off the couch and do the work. And it starts with us. From California's desert center to Costa Rica, South America, to Africa and beyond, to Trofa and the positive promise of growing an oil field above the ground versus plundering crude from below it has sparked a new and exciting awakening with global population rates spiraling upward, growing malnutrition. The planet needs food to feed the hungry. Many believe Chitrofa is a global gift. At its core, a special energy. Farming Biodiesel Incorporated is working hard to harness that energy. A simple, universal, and noble goal so that people and the planet will prosper. And what about the future? Next year, I'd like to be sitting here with Mr. Obama across from me. That's where I'd like to be. The long-term goal of the farm is to take it to scale. The, the 300 acres that we're on now is the showroom. Um, we're going to show people how to do it and how that there's a different way to do it and to make it viable. Now, taking it to scale is the next step. There's 50,000 acres of government-owned BLM land around us that's perfectly ready to be farmed. Time is now and we can't wait. The government wants to talk about green jobs and green energy. There's no better place than Desert Center to make something uh, on a viable scale out here. Everything's right about the farm. It makes a lot of sense. And we're hoping that we can find some uh, investors and partners that believe in the same things we believe in. I tell a lot of people it's like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. Because this is my new passion. We want to keep it simple. We're farming bio diesel. For more information about FBI Farms and the eco-friendly future they are building, go to farmingbiodiesel.com.